And now joining us as part of our breaking news coverage is Giants radio analyst and former linebacker of the Giants, Carl Banks. Uh, Carl, thanks for joining us right now for breaking news coverage. And what was your reaction to the hire of Joe Judge? Um, I really didn't have a reaction. I just know that, um, you know, Giants fans are eager to get, you know, some stability in the organization. I think um, knowing where Joe comes from, uh, my response now and my reaction now is that um, he comes from a place that emphasizes structure, good fundamentals, um, all the things that are conducive to winning. And so I have confidence that he'll do a good job. I think the most important um, aspect uh, beyond his leadership of the team is that he gets good assistant coaches. I think you have when you have a team that's averaging 25 years or younger, it's very important to develop those young players and um, get the most out of them. So I think that's his biggest task at hand. Um, there is some talent on the roster, and I think his, uh, you know, like I said, beyond his leadership, it's getting the right staff together. Now, you know the Giants fans are very passionate, and they are looking at this saying, Joe who? Not sure who it is. And you know how passionate they are about their feelings and about this team. Uh, what do you think they will have to see to be convinced that this was the right hire? Well, it's a, it's a results-oriented business. Um, Giant fans want to see wins and losses. That's what it really comes down to. Um, you don't know what you don't know in terms of you know, a coach. Because a coach is a brand name doesn't mean he's going to have success. And because he's not a brand name doesn't mean he won't have success. So uh, it's going to be about the results on the field. Um, I expect, you know, the fan base to be split to start off. Um, and then as the results start to come in, you know, they'll shift. I mean, fan, you know, the essence of fandom is going to be about emotion. And the more they win, the better the fans feel about the selection. And obviously, Everybody wants to see him have success, and um, they'll find out soon enough. Carl, how does he win over the locker room? Easy. He comes, look, he comes from a place that's had a great deal of sustained success. So uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem with a locker room that has already displayed that they want to win, they want to play hard. They just need direction. They need structure. I think once he starts to put those things in place, it'll be evident quite early that he knows what he's doing and they're going, he's, they're going to be able to respect and listen to him as a coach. How do, you, the, how do you think the relationship between Dave Gettleman and Joe Judge will be? <laughs> uh, I think it'll be just fine. I, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this narrative that um, Dave Gettleman is such a bad guy or such a horrible talent evaluator. And, I mean, you guys get a lot of people uh, in your studio, so maybe I'll have to pay more attention. <laughs> but um, he understands talent. He's a really good ta talent evaluator. And I've never really heard that he's not a great collaborator with coaches. So I don't know where the narrative has developed but um, maybe I'm missing something and you guys have the experts on or people that have worked with him that have said differently. But I, you know, I think, you know, for a guy who had to come in and, and repair seven years of damage uh, to an offensive line and linebackers and tight ends and things of that nature, um, he's done a pretty good job of trying to restock the cupboard. And I'm sure if you have a, a head coach, in a, a group of coordinators that say we want these types of players, he's going to go out and try to get the, those best types of players. So I, I, don't, I don't know the dynamic of where Dave Gettleman became this very difficult guy to work with. He hasn't – I don't think he shoved one single player down his last coach's throat. Well, let me ask you this then. In terms of the pieces, you mentioned them. They have there on offense, especially now – young pieces in Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. How do you think uh, Joe Judge is going to get the, the most out of, out of them and the rest of that offense? Well, I think, you know, the hallmark of the Patriots organization 
uh, has been rooted in sound fundamentals, doing the little things right. Um, and I think having a plan and understanding um, where you're supposed to be and not compromising on any of the little things that are conducive to winning. I think that's how you get the most out of it. I think um, they are great evaluators of, you know, what players need to do from week to week, from day to day. Uh, they develop plans for their players. Uh, they develop expectations, uh, milestones, and, and all of those things. So there there will be a clear um, set of goals and expectations set from week to week, from day to day. And I think that's, you know, how you get the most out of your young talent because um, they don't develop bad habits when you have a plan for them. There's been a lot of coaching news within the division overall. What do you think of the coaching landscape in the NFC East? Well, I, I long for the, the old days where you had, you know, four of the greatest coaches to ever coach in football and a division that was constantly producing Super Bowl participants or championships. So um, I love Doug Peterson. I, I've said it uh, openly that I don't think there's been a coach that's done more with less better than Doug Peterson all year long. I mean, he has done a phenomenal job in real time um, because he's had players that just went down series by series and he didn't have the luxury of going back home, figure it out, and coming back next week. He had to make adjustments on the fly, and he's done a, a masterful job, and I don't think anyone has done a better job than him. Um, obviously, Mike McCarthy in uh, Dallas now is going to be uh, a significant um, change for the way they do things, and I think for a guy like McCarthy, if you had to have a situation coming off the bench where he's been, um, the Dallas Cowboys are it. You know, they've got a talented offensive line, a talented uh, running back, a very good quarterback, a very talented defense. He can hit the ground running there. So the division is going to be competitive right away. And Ron Rivera, who's going to restore structure to the Washington Redskins, and he's going to put together a great staff there. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing just how good the division will be and if it'll take a significant jump in terms of its uh, competitive balance. Definitely. A lot of coaching changes within the division. Two-time Super Bowl champion, former Giants linebacker and current Giants radio analyst, Carl Banks, thank you very much for joining us here on NFL Network. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.